Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. It is really cold in Melbourne today. I am still here, yes. Myanmar has still not um, changed their international flight ban. Um, they actually just extended it to June 15th. So I am still in Melbourne um, and I will be for a little while longer. Um, so I'm just waiting until I can get back. Um, first of all, I got new hair, if you can't see. Um, I Like it was curled and this is like, like four days old. Um, but look how cute it is. I've got like a little bit more color in it. It's, yeah, it's cute. Anyway, um, so I've been waiting to do that for ages, but exciting times, it's been done. So today I really wanted to just have like a video of reflection. Um, I think there's been like two massive things that have happened to me in the last um, two weeks that I'm personally like really, really proud of um, and I want to discuss. And I think that sometimes maybe I'm like such an on the go person and in the moment person that I can forget about like kind of sitting down and reflecting the past and really appreciating like, what I've achieved. So. The first thing is, I finally reached 1,000 subscribers. Wait, one second. That is cookies that I'm baking in celebration. One second. Okay, I'm back. So, I finally, I finally reached 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. I am so grateful. Um, I will go into this more, but thank you guys so much for supporting me and getting me to 1,000 subscribers. Um, I didn't think it would happen this fast. I just feel like I have gained a lot of momentum and I really appreciate it. Um, uh, and I just can't wait to like grow even more and show you guys even more awesome, great quality content. But I could not have done it without you guys um, watching my videos, liking, commenting. I love it when you engage. Um, so I'm so appreciative and so grateful for um, what I've built so far on YouTube. Um, secondly, I finally reached um, my one year anniversary in Myanmar. So it's been May, May 22nd was the one year that I have moved to Myanmar um so what an in insane part of my journey I think that's like something that I really have to appreciate because um my YouTube kind of developed more as I moved to Myanmar and I, that's when I kind of really seriously started um vlogging and YouTubing a lot more um so two massive things that I have in my life and I just kind of want to have a moment to give an update and appreciate like that time okay so starting with YouTube um I think that I have grown so much on my YouTube, like not even just by like videoing or vlogging, it's just purely like my experience that I've had throughout um, when I started a YouTube channel to now. So when I first started, it was purely because I wanted to share my experiences abroad. Um, I started in Hong Kong with my family and friends and I didn't really take it like too seriously, but I kind of was like half committed to it. Um, and with time I have really, I think I remember at the start of 2019, I was like, I'm gonna commit to this and I'm gonna post every day, uh, every week. And what I did and I stuck to that goal and I feel like my YouTube has developed so much more with that. Also in saying that I did have a really huge life change and moved to Myanmar, which I think gave me like a really nice niche and um, a lot of new things to discover. Uh, so yeah, I'm so, so grateful for my experience in YouTube. I think it's now turned into something um, that I can see myself doing like maybe professionally if I was able to get such a big following I would love to create content and videos um, that really made a difference in people's lives and show them a new um, place or new way to look at life um, and a different perspective so yeah thank you for joining my journey um, it'd be a dream to really grow even more and I hopefully I can keep doing that and I will continue to do that um, personally I think YouTube has been really great for my personal growth I think Getting yourself in front of a camera is never really supernatural, um, but getting comfortable talking to yourself like 99% of the time um, has been really good for my self growth. I feel like I have gained a lot of confidence through that uh, and with who I am as an individual and reminding myself like what I want to be. Because I think on the internet, um, there's so many different versions of people, but I think that uh, it really teaches you to stick to who you are and not to mold yourself into somebody that you don't want to be. Um, so I'm really, really grateful for my experience on, on YouTube and what it has offered me. It's definitely offered me like a new perspective of myself um, where I guess I care a lot less about like people's opinion of me, which I think is a really healthy place to be, especially nowadays with social media and how um, intense it can be and overwhelming on your life. Um, so once again, thank you guys so much for your support um, for the 1,000 subscribers. I am just speechless I don't have any words to describe how grateful I am um, but I just cannot wait and I cannot wait to commit to like giving you more and more great quality content um, in terms of one year in Myanmar that is like a huge achievement I think that it kind of works hand in hand with my progression on YouTube like looking at back at myself when I first got to Myanmar to like how comfortable I have become there especially as well with Alex how comfortable we've become there the friends we've made the lives we've bid for ourselves um, I think it was quite obvious like when I moved to Myanmar, I moved with Alex um, 
and also kind of because of him and I was but I was very open to that journey and I think by having that really great mindset and being open to it um, I think the first few months were a bit hard but once I really found my groove and I was um, really had open arms and I was like yes my mom come to me um, I have really developed so much more as a human than I ever thought I would especially at 25 I think um, I've had such a wealth of experience that's really unique to me um, and that's something I really hold and cherish very closely to my heart um, yeah I get a bit emotional talking about this but um, I, I don't know it just like moving to Myanmar and what I've experienced it really has taught me that you know whatever happens in life um, as long as you you know make a calculated risk decision about it and you really consider all your options it can never get that bad um, especially when you're younger so I feel like I'm a lot more like just do it if someone told me tomorrow like oh let's move to Colombia I'd probably be like yeah like why not um, so I think that yeah it's just proved to myself that saying yes in life sometimes and going with the flow and following your heart is has can take you to really great places it can also get you in a lot of trouble but I think if you can take calculated risk it's really good um, so yeah I've absolutely loved my one year in Myanmar um, I think personally I've just grown so much more. Um, I know what I want in life, I know what I like and I don't like. Um, I've matured a lot, being independent and um, really living on our own, paying for all our expenses. Um, so Myanmar has been a really great breeding ground for growth um, and I'm so appreciative of my time here and I can't wait to get back um, and I can't wait to keep like yeah, exploring Myanmar. I think there's so much left to do. Um, that kind of feeds into like the what's next. So for me, the what's next is for Myanmar, especially I think there's like so much more left to see. I've only seen like so little of the country, so much more to explore um, and show you guys. I can't wait to show you even more um, and hopefully like build more of a profile in Myanmar um, doing uh, Myanmar focused like videos or exploring Myanmar and showing the best sides of it. Um, I think that I have been able to expose myself to like people like the insider who found my videos and wanted to share it online um, and also just with other agencies who've wanted to help collaborate with me to make other videos about Myanmar so I'd love to do more of that um, in the future and in terms of YouTube my what's next is just um, continuing to engage and build like a really great connection with you guys um, uh, and just keep being me on YouTube, um, exploring new things, always challenging myself and not getting repetitive. Um, so yeah, I'm like so excited for my journey ahead. I thought that it'd be nice to just have a little break from my normal videos and have a bit of reflection on what's next in life um, and also just appreciating like where I am now and how I've gotten there. So once again, thank you guys so much for your support. Um, your without realizing it, you guys have really motivated me to continue exploring me and exploring myself, learning more about myself and pushing myself to new um, comfort zones, uh, which I really, really appreciate. And appreciate. Um, please comment below, I don't know, maybe your favorite moment from my videos um, or your favorite video that you have or I don't know, just your personal journey um, through life or what you'd love to see next for me. Um, I'd really appreciate that engagement. Um, and thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers again. Um, it is as much as mine as it is yours. Um, so thank you so much. And I can't wait um, for all our upcoming videos and the future get together. Thank you, bye guys. Oh, also just quickly, let's eat a celebratory cookie. Cause I made choc orange cookies with a bit of honeycomb on the top and I made a mini one just for this video. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Mm-mm-mm. It is good. Okay, bye guys.